My name is Ronald Bernard Jr. and I've been working with 1-800-GOT-JUNK for five years. And between me and my wife, we have eight beautiful children. So the beauty of having eight kids, is it helps me out so much here that I, I didn't even realize, you know, like dealing with so many different personalities at home, you're gonna deal with so many different personalities here. So it preps me and I think that's why I'm so successful here is because at home, I see so many different needs and wants. So when I get out onto the, the truck, I can understand the person who's not trying to pay to get a couch removed to the person who really needs to get all of this stuff removed. So like, I can relate to both sides of the spectrum, having the kid that doesn't want juice versus the kid that wants ice cream for dinner, you know? <laughs> so Before I worked at 100 Got Junk, I actually worked at a Chartway Federal Credit Union, which is like a big bank in the Virginia area. And um, I did that for like five years. And I thought that was like gonna be my career job. I was never gonna go anywhere else because I love numbers, I love interacting with people. But So I just started looking around. I kept seeing these trucks in a parking lot uh, at the Farm Fresh where I was shopping at. And I was like, man, if I ask this guy for a job, it might be like, he might be like, you know, what do you, you know, don't approach me or something, you know what I mean? But I was like, hey, let me see what he says. And he actually told me like, hey, we're looking for people. Let me give you this guy's number. And then the story is told, you know, next thing you know, I'm on the truck working and figuring out how the junk stuff works, you know what I'm saying? So. so what's some of your favorite things about working for the franchise? Well, I think my highlight reel every day is just seeing people happy. Like I have a house full of kids, you know, my wife and I, we work real hard to just make everybody in our house happy. So when I walk outside, that's like one of my biggest goals to see my job affecting somebody else's life just removing junk, you don't really think about that kind of stuff. Like, oh, I'm taking this person's couch, but really you're helping them out because they might not have been able to move that on their own or they might not have family members or friends who can get together and get a truck to help them out. So being that, that call of action, you know, like 911 call, hey, I, I gotta call somebody to help me. I like being the help, so. I think what makes 1-800-GOT-JUNK unique is that we, we hire from all surfaces of the world. Like nobody, we're not looking for you know, the strongest guy. We're not looking for the smartest guy. We're not looking for any particular guy. We're, we're hiring people who need a job and we're training them and giving them tools that they take from here and they use them in all, so many different facets. You know, we, we hire musicians. You know, we, we hire people who did jobs like this previous previously and they don't even like it as much as they like this one. You know, they're like, man, I thought this was gonna be like my last job and it's not. And when you get to work around people who love being here and always like keeping their spirits up up and always smiling they smile from the morning you know it's seven o'clock in the morning 30 degrees outside and you see people high-fiving and shaking hands with smiles it's, it's amazing to see you know so as long as the culture is 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 geared to everybody not just one particular person because being the strongest person that doesn't mean you're going to be the best person on this truck and being the smartest doesn't mean that either but being the most consistent and being you know hardest working consistently you definitely be one of the best guys to get on the truck. So uh, the first thing when I when I see a customer, I'm always like trying to figure out, am I gonna be the, the solution to their day? Like, am I gonna help their day out? And that's the goal. Like when I when I see somebody and they, they're like, hey, it's just a couch, it's really, really heavy. And then me and my guy just pick it up like it's a feather, you know, and they're like, whoa, you know, <laughs> like, like, man, I didn't know you could like, man, me and my son could have moved that couch for years. We just left it there, you know, something like that. Just being able to help somebody. What do you think makes the culture that way? Like, why do you think the culture is the way it is? If somebody says, hey, I work for 1-800-GOT-JUNK, they instantly put you in a category. And if they knew what we actually did here, they wouldn't put us in a category because we do so many different things. We're movers, we're customer service, you know, we're, we're packers. You know, if you if you know anything about video games, Tetris is, is probably everybody's here. If you get hired here and you don't know Tetris, you're probably not going to do that good pack in the truck. But <laughs> if you get Tetris, if you get Tetris and you play it a few times, you would definitely be one of the best packers you've ever seen. So I think that's the culture right there, you know, just having different aspects, you know, not one particular thing, because I don't think it's one thing. You know, I think it's like 50 things. You know, I probably don't know all 50, but I know it's not just one thing because every culture is different and our culture is different, too. What would you say that you personally do to try to help build culture in the people around you? I think what I do with my employees, I try to give them something to, to have fun with. Like every time I call them or I touch base with them, or if I'm working with a particular guy that day, because you know I work two days in the office, three days on the truck. So with those, with me having that balance, I do get to see the guys a little more. And when when I do, I always come up with something funny or try to find out what they like and talk about that stuff to keep them engaged. Because like I don't want them to think it's all all work, no fun. Because there is more fun here than work. Because we get to ride in the trucks 
and we get to talk and we get to listen to our music and you know we get to do all that good stuff so as long as we're happy you know what i mean keeping it up I, I think that's the key that's what i bring i bring happiness you know everybody calls me king duck because i'm always chasing the duck it so as long as everybody hears king duck on the phone it's like oh man it's gonna be a good conversation he's gonna make, he's gonna try to make me laugh i'm not always successful but you know at least at least they know i care enough to try so i think that's the, the factor